Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Ben here with another video, this time with something very, very special, very boutique, the one, the only, Crowther Hotcake. Here we go. All right, so we're back here with the hotcake. And this is something very special to me. This is a pedal inspired by the one, the only, Mark Knopfler. I would say that Mark is the number one inspiration for me to pick up the guitar. And um, one of the most influential people and songwriters and guitar players in my life. So I, when I heard that he has the hot cake, I was like, what is going on with the hot cake? And I mean, if you're looking for a boutique pedal, if you're looking for the definition of boutique, I mean, this is boutique. You gotta check out the video of Paul Crowther. I'll link it in the description below. But I mean, he goes into how he makes this in his kitchen. I mean, quite literally. But he puts his heart and soul into every single circuit he puts into the pedal. And uh, I mean, it's amazing. It really does have a special vibe, a special sound to it. I'm loving it as my second channel of the amp sort of sound. It's perfect for the neck pickup, for nice cleaner lead passages. I'm just really loving the liquid flavor that I'm getting from it. it really is like hot cake. Um, so the name is really great. Kudos to Paul Crowther. I really am loving what you're doing. Um, it's funny enough, he's a drummer, but you never know where amazing things come from. So uh, thank you to Paul for his amazing pedal. And I'm by no means sponsoring anything. This is just me giving an honest opinion, but it's on my board and it's there to stay. It's something special and it really gives me that vintage vibe. So uh, I'm excited to show it to you now. Um, before we do, let me just give you my clean tone for reference. Um, as you could see though, it's hidden on the bottom shelf. You're probably wondering, how am I going to see what you're doing to this pedal? Well, I will tell you, my wife is a genius, and she gave me a brilliant idea to remove the screws on my uh, top shelf here, and that way I am able to bring it down to reveal everything that's going on. Isn't that awesome? So uh, let me just turn off my 60 cycle hum here. Um, so yeah, so really cool. But before we get into the hot cake, just wanna show you my clean tone for reference and the signal chain. I am playing my Sur Standard Plus here. I'm going through the board using the Iridium as the front end, the amp pl platform going directly into the Universal Audio Apollo into Logic. Here's my clean tone. As you can see, I have a little edge of breakup, as they call it, um, and I'm using the Vox AC30 circuit. You might ask me why? Why are you using? Why not use the round? All right, fine. Let's use the round. I love the round. It's a deluxe reverb. It's an amazing, amazing amp tone. But when I discovered the AC30 circuit, that top boost, which is why you hear a little bit more noise. But what you get with that top end crystal clean shimmer is just something out of this world for a clean tone. Loving it. Um, now, Interestingly enough, with the hot cake, it is a big topic out there that the hot cake sounds best in front of an AC30 circuit. And it's quite interesting. It's quite interesting. When I got the hot cake, I was actually using a Mesa Boogie Mark V amp. And I never really got to hear it in front of anything other than that circuit. I never got to hear it in front of anything other than that circuit. And um, then I hear people talking about how it's best in front of an AC30. I had no clue what they're talking about, but then I got the Iridium. And the Iridium opened me up to be able to have these unique tone stacks, these different flavors. And now I see what they're talking about. The hot cake is best in front of an AC30. And I'll show you how that works. And 
that it's the truth. All right, so here on channel one on my controller, we're actually going through the RC booster into the SIR compressor into the Iridium, but instead on channel two, it turns off the compressor, only the booster into the hotcake. So now you're gonna hear the hotcake. I'm gonna turn everything to 12 o'clock, and here we go. Decent amount of gain on tap there at noon. Pretty amazing. Let's just go to the uh, middle bridge pickup position. Great sound at noon uh, in its natural position, but let's just play around with some of the settings. So the level, of course, is as it sounds level, but it actually has quite a bit of volume there. So let's back down the gain and see what happens when we push this thing. Very nice. That's clean. That's hot cake boosted, but let's, without any drive, let's bring down the level. You're probably wondering, how does it sound on the neck pickup position? Clean. Amazing clean boost pedal. I mean, it gives you a nice transparent and that is without any gain whatsoever. So when I discovered that, that's when I discovered what I want my settings to be like. Let's check out before we do anything the presence knob, which is super important. Um, the presence knob to me is something beyond presence. It's opening up the gain stage completely. <laughs> And at noon, get ready. It just opens up the whole frequency. It's pretty incredible. I leave it cranked. Um, the gain I actually bring up to about 10 o'clock, back off the volume to about 2 o'clock, and that's my magic setting. <laughs> Funny enough, um, I love playing a piece of music I heard on the Mesa Boogie website back in the day, um, which was just very tube-like tone. flavor. Um, let's just see what the drive knob does do beyond 12 o'clock. Let's bring back the volume. Leave the presence crank. Really um, creamy as it says plus cream. Without the plus cream. With cream. Interesting. Sort of like it without. Let's see how it cleans up with the volume knob.
for me, this is too much gain. This is where I lose interest in this kind of sound. It's just too much. I mean, maybe on the bridge pickup with a humbucker, it's... I mean, it's nice. It's a high gain amp. Once you get to that neck pickup position, I feel like it gets a little bit too muddy for me. Um, but let's see what it's like cranked. Pretty cool. People do say it's fuzz like, and I can hear that. Definitely makes you want to play like that, so. But it does get very muddy, as you could hear. I feel like. It just loses a lot of that definition and clarity once you crank the drive. So for me, my setting, as I could show you right here, as I would love to share, is really cool actually and it works nice. So it's always easy to find. One thing I want to highlight why I love the hotcake is the dynamics that you get that how you could play quietly um, how you could just play any way you want and you'll get a different flavor. Play soft. I mean, I'm really just loving that flavor that you get out of this pedal, so I really feel like it's a winner. I mean, it's perfect at that beautiful, clean, transparent drive. How do I know it's transparent? Because... that same character, the amp character of the Vox AC30 is not lost. The hot cake really works so well together with the circuit that it's just a beautiful marriage of the two. Um, when I switch it to the round amp setting, it sounds great. It does its own thing. I mean, it's just, I feel like a little bit more mid-range, doesn't give you as much of those high frequencies um, and those high-end harmonics that you get out of the AC30, but it has its, its, it has its place. It's definitely a good sound, and the round amp itself is an amazing model, and you could check out a, a video that I just did showing how I made a song, a playback, using just the round amp model. So I really love it. But for me, the the place that I love using the hotcake is on my chime setting. So whenever I'm in channel two, I'll make sure that my chime amp setting is engaged because that's my second amp channel. 
I, I always say second amp, second channel because as like like I said, I'm a Mesa Boogie Mark V owner. That was my first real tube amp, and there's three channels. And uh, whenever I'm whenever I got amps from that point forward, I was always missing that middle channel. So my middle channel is now a pedal. Um, but I think that it really works. I think pedals in front of amps, the way it works with the circuit, the way it pushes it just a little bit, just to get it to clip um, just at the right place is, is really perfect for us guitar players in, in our tone searching adventures. Anyways, thanks so much for tuning in. We are looking for a thousand subscribers, so please help us in that effort and share the channel with your friends if you have not done so already. In the meantime, looking forward to seeing you in the next video. I hope you all have an outstanding day. Take care.